Now, what are two to three protocols, habits, mindsets, let's call them shortcuts because everybody likes shortcuts that you can give for longevity and a long health span. Okay, one, walking, walking, mm. walking, walking. And we see that for hunter gatherers that our understanding is that they're walking much more than we are. And so even I'm saying that in, in a present tense in the very small groups that we have to observe, some of our estimations appear to be between around 10,000 to 18,000 steps a day for some um, hunter gatherer tribes that we can look to and then some can be long or more if they are hunters of the tribe. And so that can range. But um, certainly it's clear that it's a lot more than the average. Some people speak to some estimations of around 3,000 steps a day for the average American for some of these numbers. Now it's, it's questionable to how these are being pulled, but we can assume that it, we're not moving as much as we used to. And so from that place, one of the reasons I love the walking from a circadian perspective is it does a lot of things all at once. So it gets you outside, gets that light. And we see also lowering. So it's kind of an anti-anxiety effect, helpful for heart rate, HRV, a number of other kind of spilling out benefits with that one practice. Um, so that would be one of my first big ones. Of course, the prioritization of sleep, not to be repetitive, but I think just having that as your first foundation by which then you're layering on all these other things can be really, really impactful. I would also just bring in this growth mindset piece because sadly, I mean, a lot of these things that we're talking about are so out of the bounds of what our modern society is doing. So you are going to have to be kind of outside of the bell curve for what most people are doing to even enact some of these things. So to have that growth mindset, to take the time to listen to this, you know, kind of summit and conversations and not have it that, well, you know, because my grandmother had this problem or X, Y, or Z, then it's just kind of, that's the way it is for me. Growth mindset versus that fixed mindset, I think is going to be important to actually have these things come into your life and not just be like a nice idea. Walking, sleep, of course, and, and growth mindset. I love it.